Hey everyone, so my name is Morgan from Morgan Drinks Coffee. You might have seen me on TikTok, I do a little bit of YouTube now, but right now I'm here with Espresso State of Mind at the New York Coffee Festival. It's day one and we're here surrounded by coffee and hospitality professionals. So I asked my followers the other day to send me a bunch of questions and we'll see what kind of answers we get. So let's go. <laughs> You look amazing. <laughs> I haven't looked at a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Neither have I. I don't know what's going on up here. <laughs> As a coffee professional, what would you say is the best way to train your palate to taste coffee? Because that's something we do a lot here is we're pulling tasting notes, we're pulling, you know, like uh, like texture calls of coffee. So you really have to just build like your memory palate. Yeah. So the best way is to taste everything. If you go to a different country, you taste the different spices, yeah. different fruits, different vegetables. Um, you really have to be open-minded. Even if you hate the way something tastes, yeah. at least taste it once. That way you just you know what it out. is at least. Exactly. If you could just drink one coffee drink for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh man. I still I still get down with like cortados all the time. Yeah, fair Anytime enough. I go to a shop. Fair enough. It's delicious. Awesome. Well, thank you, Josh. On to the next person. I drank eight shots of espresso, milk, chai, chocolate syrup, and half an ounce of ice in a blender. That's powerful. That's amazing. I love it. Honestly, sounds really tasty. <laughs> hey, Morgan. Hi, hello. I just won day one at the La Sierra World Championship. <laughs> Who? That's all I got. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> this is Morgan Drew's coffee. She's kind of a big deal. You know, I don't. Just, you know. Fun. So, on to our next person, and this next person is a little bit special. She is actually our 2019 United States Barista Champion. So the first question I have for you is, what got you started in coffee? I got started in coffee because of the people. I was hanging out at a cafe that was right by my high school, and all my friends would go there, so it was just a place that everybody hung out. One was uh, visiting family in Guatemala, getting to see yeah. a farm for the first time. Yeah. Second was going to a local coffee shop for the first time, to yeah. see friends doing open mic. Yeah. And then third was realizing what specialty was. Yeah. And like asking questions and really getting into it. Okay, we're back. It's day two of Coffee Fest. Right behind us, we still have the Latte Air Championship going on. Still got a ton of coffee professionals over here, and we've got a full new set of questions. So we're going to wander around a little bit more today and see what sort of answers we can get. What would be your best piece of advice for someone who's beginning to get into latte art? One, don't stop. Yes. <laughs> Two, participate. Post your pictures. Yeah. Get to know your friends. Yeah. Make some friends in the industry. And most importantly, don't be intimidated to actually compete. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people out there that are like, oh, I won't compete till I'm good. Yeah. But you're good enough now. Espresso or drip coffee? Espresso. Espresso all the way? <laughs> yeah. Drip coffee for me is more of a summer thing. I get that. Whereas espresso, the intensity of flavor and the fact that at least for me it's more malleable. I can kind of make it whatever I want. Yeah. To. What is your favorite part of your job? Picking up a cup of coffee can make or break someone's day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to make someone's day. I'm Morgan. It's nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Eric. Nice Hello. to meet you too. You too. Thank you. Are you in the competition? Or? No, I'm just here um, doing some video stuff. I'm just not good enough to make that. I'm too nervous and shaky <laughs> no. to do it. So. <laughs> How would you describe specialty coffee to someone who doesn't know anything about it? So I would say that specialty coffee is a coffee that has been intentionally sourced, intentionally harvested, yeah. intentionally grown, roasted, and prepared. How would you describe your job in just one word? I would say that my job is relationships. It's love. That's yeah, awesome. Sure. The way it should be. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so looks like we're wrapping up Coffee Fest. Uh, today is Tuesday, it's the end of day three. It's about four o'clock and everyone's packing up. Over this weekend, we've had the opportunity to talk to a lot of amazing professionals, some of the top people in the industry. And honestly, what it all comes back down to is people and relationships. As Nathaniel May said, his job is all about relationships. And I think that's really indicative of the entire specialty coffee community. It's a really special place out here. And I'm so glad I got the opportunity to partner with Espresso State of Mind to talk to some of these people and share a little bit more about what makes this coffee community just so special. So we'll catch you at the next Coffee Fest.